Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. It looks like I'll be doing some Val this time. Trying to keep people healed and, uh, you know, not let them get murdered. Both things that, um, I'm a particular fan of. And I've got quite a few roles that I need to fill. I need to keep them healed, I need to keep some, um... Armor penetration shots on the targets so people can do extra damage and keep them tranked if at all possible. Now, just just touching the monster and keeping people alive. I, I think that's a it's a good uh, expectation. So it looks like we're gonna be playing with some bucket. Bucket is the support that I just unlocked last time, and um, he's good. He's actually like a hidden assault class to be honest. That has some reconnaissance abilities. Oh, crap. We're fighting the Kraken. This is bad. Alrighty, this one's gonna be a tricky one, team. Uh, we gotta fight the Kraken. Kraken has been balanced in the very earliest part of the game. However, its damage, its lightning, its ability to rip into you is still really ridiculous early on. And it's a little bit tricky for some people to track if they're a pretty good Kraken. So let's hope that this Kraken is on the derpy side. Which means I am going to need to be on the ball with everything. From my healing burst, which is my AoE heal, to my trank gun, to my healing rifle, to my sniper rifle. I gotta be on the ball. But most of all, I gotta keep people alive. Uh, everything else kind of falls secondary to just keeping folks um, from becoming a corpse. Should be a little easier than it was when I made my first Valve videos, because I have better hardware. But yeah, the Kraken. He's a lightning monster. He flies. He's Cthulhu. He is absolutely murdery. And I'm hoping that he is not the biggity bestest. And he leaves, like, scorch mark footprints when he walks places. So... Uh-oh, what did you fight? Oh, well, we got a perk. That's good. Got increased clip size and battery size. Not sure how that would help us out, since we run on technology, not DNA, but I'll take it. I will not knock any old help that I can get. So, I have some theories about the story of Evolve. So, you know, we're here hunting these monsters, and I have a feeling that there is, like, um, a little bit of a conspiracy going on in the background. I think that they were creating monsters for weapons or for research or for some reason. And they are especially intelligent, and like the Kraken or something, one of their really intelligent ones got out and made a jailbreak, and now they're just trying to get revenge or something on the people that imprisoned them. And so, yeah, they've, they've been destroying these facilities, they've been killing scientists, they're running amok, and there's more of them coming. And in the trailer, they showed them in, like, these chemical testing facilities. Oh, wow, he's already stage two? That's bad. Oh, crap. Yep, he's right up here. Well, I'm just gonna have to keep him ranked. Oh, this is already bad. Alright, let's keep some people healed. He is... So the trick here is, to get him without his armor, He's a very squishy monster. He's all... he's a glass cannon, is the whole point of this character. He's a massive glass cannon. And I've got to try and keep the assault alive, desperately. But that's probably not going to be a thing, because we don't have a shield, because we have a secondary s assault class. Rather than... oh, that's bad. Oh, and I'm downed too. That's not good. That's incredibly bad. Come on, support. Go invisible and save us. He's probably gonna win. Yeah, the support's not gonna be able to do much to help us. I'm gonna be dead. Yep, I'm toast. And it looks like the assault's about to be dead. Okay, the support is bringing people back to life, but if the monster notices 
So he's eating my corpse right now. If you can't see that back there. Um, our teammates are pretty much dead. So what can you do against the Kraken? What really can you do? Well, if you're the Assault, you need to try and let him chase somebody else. Oh, oh, his support's downed. In the water. That's not good. You pretty much gotta let, like, someone else just tank it for a little bit as the Assault and try and get behind it when your shield goes down. I think I have it on film. I might share it with you after this video. Um, in multiplayer that we didn't record the audio for. At least not the voice audio. Um, we played against a Kraken, and they let me, as Hyde, sit on their, their, their slimy tentacle butt and just shoot at them for days. And that ended up being what allowed us to win, because if they kill the, the Assault or the Healer, or both as the case may be, you're pretty much out of options, truth be told. Um, you're gonna get murdered. As it stands right now, the Kraken is already Tier 2. If you, if you can't catch them before they get out of Tier 1, or Phase 1, uh, you're pretty much gonna get murdered. And I can say that because they only get more powerful from here, and the Kraken especially can one-shot people at Tier 3. Doesn't matter if you have reduced health. If he gets a good shot off on you, he can just level the whole team. And I've seen this happen a lot. So he is now into Stage 3. We've got to protect the Relay. And I am not especially um, optimistic about the, our, our hopes. Especially when these are crazy, like, uh, genetically modified and scientifically designed murder machines. Yep, he's getting touched. Yep, he's touched. But we're alive, so even though he's down, we should be able to try and do something. Unfortunately, I'm not Lazarus. I don't even have Lazarus near to being unlocked. Oh my, that's not good. Oh, there it is. That's the murder. Oh, get me out of here. I gotta get out of here. This is a, this is gonna be a mess. Oh, I'm downed. It's really hard to get out of the way of that without other jetpack upgrades or perks. But I was expecting to fight the Goliath, truth be told. I don't know what too too much to do about this monster other than let it kill people with Lazarus and then just resurrect people. Yep, there it goes. He doesn't even need to destroy the installation. He just has to murder us. We did beat him up a little bit. Just a little bit, though. But, I mean, that's Val. Kinda. I didn't get a chance to do much besides desperately heal the, the, the salt. So, maybe better luck in the next round. It's gonna be rough anytime we fight the Wraith or we fight, um, the Kraken. So, um... Yeah, not the bestest. So anyway, that's Val for you, and the Kraken is absolutely ridiculous. Join me again next time, Larry the Chupacabra, for more evolved beta action. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton if you enjoy the series. And comment, you know, let us know what you think about Evolve so far. Interested to see what everyone else thinks. So until next time, toodaloo everybody!